Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Plays Persona 4 Golden. Today, well, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go to the movies again. I don't know if I have any Personas that I want to, like, learn something from. So going, well, Invigorate 1 wouldn't be too bad. Um, but going to a cap just doesn't seem really worth it. I already have that card. Yeah. Ooh, really? I'm about to use you. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, uh... It's raining out. We can't really hang out with anyone, so I guess we're just gonna go to the movie again. We can't get bugs. We could fish, but I don't think I have... the... proper... bugs for it. I get, like, one of those jewel bugs, but I think I need shiny bug. You know what? I'll go check out the comment section again. Yeah, just the shiny and not jeweled. Um, also, apparently, there are right options to choose when you're translating. I probably knew that at one point, but for some reason, it just slipped through my head, so I was just like, yeah, just choose whatever you think is funny or whatever pops into your mind first. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Uh, everyone chose Risei, but is that even worth it? Look, not that. Oh, also, I thought I was at level, like, rank three for Kanji. But apparently, that's not it. They're like not, I'm not ranked two. He's tied with Yosuke. Oh yeah, actually, I did want to mention that. Like, I'm kind of surprised that a lot of people were surprised that I told Yosuke no. I mean, every other time that he's called and asked me to do it, something, I have said outright no before the game made me do it. I was legit just shocked that we weren't able, we weren't forced to do it. I was, I, was, I, I felt kind of bad because it was optional. Apparently, you would have gotten some costumes for it. Um, I'm not too, you know, upset that I missed costumes. I'm glad I maxed up Marie so I can work on someone else in her place. But at the same time, uh, yeah, no, I was like, I totally thought when I thought he was gonna force me to do stuff again, like he's done a lot of other times, just taking up my time with stuff I didn't actually want to do. Uh, like, work at Junez for a week. Good God, I, I'm still mad about that, Yosuke. Ugh. But, anyways. Yeah, no, I just, I actually thought it was like a but thou must situation type deal, because it's been a but thou must situation every other time. I, yeah, I don't know, I was just kind of surprised. I guess I'll be a little bit more mindful of that in the future. If I'm not trying to max someone out anyways, because I still would rather do the social links. Like, then get a costume. I want to see as many social links as possible as I play. I'm not using guides, so I'm like... The only information I get is from you guys in the comment section. And... Generally speaking, a lot of the times, those come three or four days after I've recorded. Uh, due to my lovely lifestyle. So... I can't always put them to use unless it's like combat specific or... Something that's coming in the future. Anyways, let's go ahead and watch a movie. Uh... We'll bring Risa, I guess, just to see what happens. Cause she's gonna like is she gonna get stats like everyone else? Which is useless, right? I mean everyone in the on the little voice thing brought Risa, so maybe there's a reason for it. Other than points? Yes. Come to the movies with uh, me, Risa. I mean I'm already here. No rush. Thanks for waiting. No problem. <laughs> Oh, it's just us, huh? And you called to invite me? Well let's, go. <laughs> well, let's go. I think I did a better voice for that one. Alright, uh, same love story to want Nahato to yesterday. Leveled up. Oh, so you just get level ups. Okay, not just... And she didn't get any stats. Okay. Right, for some reason... No, okay, that, that makes sense, because we leveled up Naruto yes, uh, yesterday, and we also got additional stats for it. Most of the time... Uh, most of the time, the remakes of great films never live up to the original, but this one was definitely worth it. Or worthy. So that was Rome, huh? I love seeing European cities. They're so beautiful. I'm glad you liked it. No problem. Alright. That's gonna be raining tonight. Are we movie buff? You've earned the trophy. Dope. Dad's late. Yeah, that's new. 
Did he forget his keys? No, 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 no. You don't answer the door. Hero. She's like way. six. He was asking where Mr. Takahashi's house is. I don't know who that is. Hello. This is the Dojima residence. I feel like we should be answering the doors and the phones. Granted, we're only 16, but we're not a little child, so we have better means of defending ourselves if something goes wrong, and we already know someone's creeping about our mailbox. <gasps> Hi, Dad! Uh-huh. Alright. It's okay. I know it's your job. I'll just hate you when I'm older. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Big bros with me, so... Okay. Bye. Dad says he's coming home tomorrow. Hmm. But I'm not lonely. You're here with me. Of course. And I'm the best kind of company. You want to get pizza? Yes, I do, actually. I should get pizza. All right, maybe after this. <sighs> it's cold today, too. I mean, it is November. Wanna bring out the kotatsu? I don't I don't know what that is. But sure? Dad said we could pull it out if it gets too cold. Is it a blanket? Like a quilt? That'll make it nice and warm. What What the hell? <laughs> you pull the katatsu out from the closet and then you jammed it through the table? It's an electric blanket, then. What? It's not coming on. It looks like it's broken. Maybe it needs to plug be plugged in? Nanako is disappointed. Let's get a cheap... Let's get the best one! Huh? We can buy one? At Juness? I am not rich, but I do have a lot of money, Nanako. Let's go uh, now. You promised to go shopping with Nanako. Like tomorrow? She is the only one that gets to force me to do events. Because she is my sweet daughter. Someone appears. It's a silhouette. Uh, but it looks even blurrier than usual. You can't even tell what gen the person is. Hey, did you see that? Yeah, it kind of looked like that Undertale kid. I mean, almost certainly. Sure. The one just now was too blurry to jump to any conclusions. But maybe someone has an idea of who it might be. We definitely need to talk. Just remember to keep your schedule open tomorrow after school. I no, I gotta go shop with Monaco, dog. Do not make me break that poor little kid's heart. Also, is my bed rolled up over there? Man, I would be way too lazy to live in Japan. Because at the end of the day, I just flop into my bed. I watched the Midnight Channel last night, as you suggested. To think a master of deduction and evidence would strain her eyes over an urban legend like this. Yeah, but it's been, like, accurate the entire time. And yet, I definitely saw someone. Could any of you tell who it was? From a fuzzy picture like that, no way. How about the regular TV? Has anyone become famous around here lately? Like appearing on the news isn't really famous. Hmm, I can't think of any offhand. I suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog. His statement was read on TV. But the chances of him being the one are slim. He returned immediately to the city after his inquiry. Huh. 
Huh, I guess that... I mean, I guess that would work, right? You pop onto TV, you, you do your stuff and just leave instantly? And I guess the, the person would follow you, maybe, if it's, he's, if they're like, they're really gung-ho about throwing you into the TV land. Huh. What's the matter? And why are you wearing that suit? It must be awful when it's wet. Oh, yeah, they stuck you at the midnight shift for falling asleep on the beds and housewares. They didn't fire you for that? That's... Very lenient of them. I told you to use the TV in the electronics department, right? Did you remember to check it out? How rude! I made a promise with Namako-chan, and I'm serious about living. Okay. From what I saw, wasn't the person on TV last night pretty small? I don't know. It was too blurry to make out any details, including how tall or short they were. It was probably just a dream, or your imagination. Wait, what? Either way, though, did you sense anyone in that world? Nope. No one's come so far. I mean, we saw the silhouette. It was tiny compared to some of the others. Then we might have to wait one more night and see. Yeah, I guess so. Good thing it looks like the rain will keep up all night. Oh, yay. We'll Good thing. Again later on. We need to get a heating blanket. Hey, are we, are we not back. going? Oh, is that a letter? Welcome back. Dad, the Kotatsu is broken. Can me and Big Bro go buy a new one? The Kotatsu? Oh, it's already that season, huh? Yeah, the weather has been odd lately. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Get whichever kind you want. Oh, I'm going to get the most expensive one and bill you. Is that a letter? It's for you, but... The letter is addressed to Mr. Hiro Yui. The name address of the center are nowhere to be found. There are no stamps or postmarks on it. See? Proven by the mailbox. There's only one sentence. If you don't stop this time, someone close will be put in and killed. Dots. Could he have sent another warning because another person appeared on the Midnight Channel? Hey, what the hell is this? Not often we get letters with no return address on them. I mean, you're awfully calm for reading that letter. So, I was right. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? Yeah, I've been doing your job. What are you up to? Screw it. Tell him the truth. So you're not going to be honest with me. <laughs> uh. I've been treating you like family. That's why I never questioned you on this. But I see that was a mistake. I should have intervened much earlier because I care for you. Well, you want to talk to Nato or anything like that? I will have the truth from you today. I told you to. I could bring you to the TV land, I think. Dad? We'll continue this somewhere else. But I'm not letting you leave until I'm convinced. Oh my god. All right. Look, just come with me to the TV. This is for your own good. Got that? Yeah, sure. It's all right. We're, we're not fighting. We'll be right back. So don't wait up for us to get to bed, okay? I really feel like we shouldn't leave her alone. Not a good scared. We'll be back soon, I guess. Later that night, at a room inside the police station. Ring, 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 banana phone. I'll hold on to this. Hey. You took your cell away. Now speak up. 
What have you gotten yourself into? What was that warning letter about? Why would you be sent something like that? Because I've been doing your job. Tell him the whole truth. So I'd explain everything to him. Persona? People going inside a TV? <sighs> Look, I'm on a lot of drugs, Dojima. I thought you'd finally tell me what's really going on here. Enough. That's enough. I guess half a year wasn't long enough for you to trust me like your old man. I mean, I don't even know my dad. But I'd hoped you in game, anyways. Up to me a little. What are you talking, Dojima? I have maxed out your social link. It's a You're shame. one of the few lucky ones. Stay here for the night. Whoa! Sorry. Wait, there's a bed here. Dang. Go inside TVs and personas, huh? Well, you can't blame him. I mean, sure, I want to believe you. And I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a father would do for his son. I think he cares for you a lot. I mean, maybe. So, yeah, don't take it so hard. I don't really take it that hard. I mean, there's a TV here. I could just jump into the TV land. No. Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. I mean, yeah. You didn't really solve it. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. <laughs> I better shut up now before I get you <laughs> Alright, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. Alright. Hey, this TV work, right? Oh, I don't like the way the floor blends in with the TV. And <laughs> he opened it. I'm like, wait a minute. Where's the floor? It, it looks like the door. Ugh, why do I have to pitch in with stock duty? Because this is your job. It's because I'm not working hard enough. There's no getting around it. Oh, there, that too, I guess. And you're proud of that because... Why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Now what'd you buy him? Hang on to it, okay? It's your own cell. Oh god, why would you do that? <laughs> I've entered the information <laughs> age. We'd get worried if we couldn't reach you. It's Hell, we get worried when we can reach you. <laughs> Thank you. You're so to use it, press this button. Uh, scrap that. Watch, I'll show you how I use mine. Oh man, the old flip phones. Those were the day. He's not picking up. It's raining right now, so I was going to remind him about the midnight channel. Does he not hear it because he's out? I mean, I do live a pretty busy lifestyle, Yosuke. You know this. Chance place. I promised to play with her lots. We're not going. And go put those snacks back. <laughs> it's already dinner time, so save them for your next visit. Oh, I get you. If he's out, that means Nanako chan might be home alone. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. Yeah, no, that's kind of messed up. She is a little child. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. You're all right sometimes, Teddy. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Yeah. I mean, I don't actually have any choice. Like, I can't, I don't control you guys. Sweet. Well, There's outside so of battle, anyways. Okay, my heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Hang on a sec, I'll try calling again. Still not picking up. Yeah, I hate you, Yosuke. That's why I'm not answering. Oh, duh. I forgot to try his home line. Hello? Hi, Nanako. Hey, Nanako-chan. Um, is your brother home? No. 
He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. He took Big Bro to the police station. You sound like you've been crying. What? He got taken to the police station? I don't like that. Stop blabbering and let me talk too. Good evening. <laughs> this is your Teddy. Okay, you're no longer sometimes good, Teddy. Let's get together and eat snacks again. Teddy. Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. That's better. So don't worry, okay? Wait. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? I mean... Really, Yosuke? It took you that long to put two and two together? And Dojima-san saw that, so he took him to the station? <laughs> what? Teddy, give me the phone back. I need to call the others. Meanwhile, in the Hall of Justice, also at the room in the police station. Huh. This is boring. If I had my phone, I could, you know, text people. Maybe play some Tetris. Oh, yeah, that's right. Use the Midnight Channel. Someone appeared. It's blurry, but you can see a small silhouette. It's a girl, most likely someone in grade school. This is Nanako, yeah. Damn it. You can't see her clearly, but there's no way you would mistake Nanako, whom you see every day and care for like she's your own daughter. Nanako is on the Midnight Channel. Your Uncle Dodima took away your cell phone. There's no way to contact your friends right now. Yeah, when I started mentioning the elementary school stuff, you know what I mean, like... And, like, Nanako mentioned talking to someone, so I, I thought she was going to appear on the TV yesterday. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Thing. I'll put you at ease soon. I don't think I recognize... Was that the same voice of the person that was doing the painting or the writing the letters earlier? I know what you're thinking, but Nanako-chan does fit the pattern. She wasn't seen, but she was heard. What? Do you remember the politician who visited a local school and made the news several times? In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well-known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. Yeah. Took I mean, I thought you had to appear on the TV, though. Interview using her real name in today's evening paper. That is a dick. What? She is like six. But even before that, this is a small rural town. Her identity must have been circulating for quite some time. Oh, my God. I should have realized it much sooner. But I was hung up on the idea of people who were shown on TV. It didn't occur to me that this would qualify. I mean, yeah, no, same here, actually. What, what are we gonna do? Nanako-chan's home alone right now, isn't she? I'm on my way there as we speak to check on her. Yosuke-senpai is heading to the police station. He said he called Kanji-kun, too. They'll explain the situation there. All right, I'll join them right away, and I'll let Yukiko and Risei-chan know. All right. Yes, please do. I wonder what her world's going to look like. Sometime later in a room at the police station. Hmm? What are you guys doing here? Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I didn't say you could go in there. <laughs> Sounds like you're kidnapping him. Nanako-chan's missing. What? What do you mean? It means you weren't doing your goddamn job as a father. Naoto's on the phone, calling from Nanako-chan. I mean, your house. Shirogane, you there? What the hell's going on? I'm at your house right now. The front door is open and there's no one inside. 
I'm afraid that Nanako-chan has been kidnapped by our serial killer. Surely you must have known, Dojima-san. The case isn't over yet. Hey, that's his phone, man. This is the KJ Customer Service Center. The number you have dialed is unavailable right now. The phone may be switched off or outside our coverage area. Nanako. Oh, what, did she have her own? Yeah, that makes sense. Dojima-san. Is this true? Has Nanako really been... Thrown into the TV in a land full of monsters and personas. We have to hurry. Why? Why, Nanako? That's probably actually my bad. Um, it's probably because the media... What are you doing? Traffic Division, Ota speaking. There's been a kidnapping. Get your man on it immediately. Start with checkpoints along the highway. And I'm just wasting taxpayer dollars. Checkpoints? Um, could you explain the situation a little more? Quit griping and get to it! I mean, that's actually a fair question to ask, man. The victim's a seven-year-old girl. My daughter! I thought she was like six. Your daughter? Wait, what about the scene? What makes you think this is a kidnapping? That's... Look, this could be connected to that multiple murder case. Connected? <laughs> but we caught the killer. How long has she been missing? Have you received any notices or ransom letters? No, but... Damn it, there's no time for this right now. Um, alright. I'll try contacting each of the departments. No, you don't have that much pull here, do you? ...to the murders, we can't prove it. And everyone on the force thinks this case is over and done with. Yeah, they're idiots. Where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my daughter. If this is connected to that murder case, the top brass won't accept the facts until it's too late. I mean, yeah, that's probably accurate. I'm not gonna wait for those clowns. But do you even have any ideas or leads on who took her? If they used a car, there's no way... Shut up! That's why I'm hurrying! Who's even left by himself? <sighs> what am I gonna do? Dojima-san's run off half cocked. Yeah, you should leave. And maybe not lock the door. Adachi-san, we'll go look for her too. So please, let him go! Huh? You know I can't- Yes, you can! You slack off every- job you're on so what's going on <laughs> whoa hey if i let all you guys in here then i'm really in trouble yeah you should let us all go then besides we don't even know if this thing's quit your bitching <laughs> now time for that shit <laughs> the hell are we sitting here for when this guy's family's in danger you gonna own up if something happens huh kanji kun I know God, how you just shit himself. Don't tell me what's going on. There's really nothing I can do. Ah, so you agree to release him once we explain the situation? I've already explained it. Well, then. Uh, no, that's not what I meant. In any case, if we run out blindly, we'll have no idea where to begin. Let's all take a moment to stop and sort out the situation. Perhaps this will help Adachi-san understand as well. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a kidnapping by the same culprit who was behind the others. Now, consider that the front door at Nanako-chan's house was open. I examined it and found no trace that entry had been forced. Yeah, she has a bad habit of just opening the door to answer it. Like, don't do that, kids. Do not open your door for someone you don't know. Like, mailman, tell him to put, put it in the, the mailbox. Leave it at the steps. You'll get it when he leaves. Just, no. Do not open doors for people you don't know. You mean, Nanako-chan opened the door? Yeah, she does it all the goddamn time! Precisely. The culprit didn't sneak in. He came boldly up to the front door and pressed the doorbell. Like how it was for all of us. Um, for all of us? Do you not know that they were kidnapped at some point? 
but the circumstances are different for her as compared to us. Remember what Nanako-chan said when we were at the hot springs? No? I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. Yeah, but like, what are you talking about? She just did that the other day, unless it's the mailman. Well, I guess a mailman's not really a stranger, but still, I mean, is the killer someone Nana-chan knows? Senpai, do you have any insight into this possibility? Someone out of school, a friend of Dojima's? I don't know. Mailman? Friend of Dojima's? Eh, probably not. Dojima-san pretty much keeps to himself at the station. The only one Nanako-chan might know would be me, his partner. Uh, I've been here this whole time, of course. Good cover, I like it. Hmm. I don't think we can limit ourselves to people Nanako-chan knows. I agree. Then let us change our perspective slightly. It's the mailman. It has to be the mailman. We know for certain that the culprit must be using a large screen TV. Hey, what? Huh? TV? What? You, are you saying- are you suggesting? That this person carries around a large screen TV. Each victim was taken at a different scene, yet was thrown into a TV almost immediately after being kidnapped. Do you guys not have TVs at your houses? I would go as far as to say that it took place in front of their houses. Dude literally has his own TV, just drags around instead of using the victim's TV. Therefore, the culprit must be taking a TV with him as he goes. That seems like way too much work. You think he's using a car? I would imagine. Or a van. Given the efficiency of the culprit's methods, I would assume a vehicle larger than a sedan. However, no unusual vehicles have been sighted. I'd expect someone to notice since most of the victims vanished during the day. So it's someone Nanako-chan knows who has a car, but it's a car that can't be seen? That... we say? No. I think we can rule out the possibility that no one happened to see the vehicle. Especially since it's happened so many times now. A car no one would notice? Is there such a thing? What would it be? Here, here's a suggestion. A mail car. I don't know, actually know what the hell the mailman's car is called. A mail van? I mean, I guess delivery truck is more... That's right. Now I remember. A delivery came. It was a delivery truck. No one looks twice at a delivery truck, no matter where it's parked. I do. I hate it when they park near my house. And if it were a but I'm like company, a jagged old man. It'd be the same delivery man every time, so he's not a stranger to Nanako-chan. She must have received packages from him during the times she was home alone, meaning we wouldn't know his face. Hadachi-san, is there anyone who fits this profile? The profile formed by a bunch of kids talking it over? <laughs> uh, let's see. A delivery company, huh? I don't know. Take it from a detective. I think this is going to be a lot more difficult then. I mean, isn't she a detective? Hey! Maybe you're not too far off base. Dojima-san put this stuff together to reinvestigate the first case. The murder of that announcer. And there's a delivery man mentioned right here. I better go tell Dojima-san. All right, you do that. Leave the door unlocked. Oh my God, it's opened. See what I mean? Look at the door in the floor. It just blends in. Delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Wait, what? After resigning from his last job, he took up the family delivery business. Before that, he was a council secretary. Taro Namatame. Was that the dude that slept with the reporter? The anchor singer's husband. Yeah. All we know about him is his occupation, 
But I'd say that's enough of a lead to tell us where to go next. The address is... it's not far from here. I give him the clue and he still finds an excuse to chew me out. Is he gonna be okay? The killer's not just a normal guy. Nana-chan! Adachi-san! If there's been a break in the case, I'd better hurry to the scene. I'll just have to hope nothing happens here while I'm gone. I didn't see anything. Alright, see you later! Adachi-san. Seriously, that door, door is flipping my brain out. Let's go to Namatame's place. Dojima-san's probably on his way now. He's gonna be pissed when we show up. Is that a bunny? Is that the dude? Hang in there, Nanako. Daddy's coming for you. I know, Hero's on his way. Shit. Ah. Nope. Dude, you need flashing lights. Oh, looking a little bit worried, aren't you? Oh, you gonna slam on the brake? That's not good. Yeah, that's not. Oh, convenient location for it. Hey, is that smoke? An accident? <gasps> oh, look! It stopped raining all of a sudden. How'd you get out of his Don't car? You, are you all right? Where's Nanako? Hello? We need an ambulance. Quickly, there's been an accident. One adult male is injured. Where's the other adult male? That's right, I should call back up too. We gotta find Namatame. Nanako. Where, where's Nanako? Uh, well, I thought he hit the rear, like the undercarriage of the car, but from the looks of it, it looks like he hit the telephone pole. I was on my way to Namatame's house when I saw him drive past me. How'd you get to the back of your car? I gave chase and he... Damn it. Where's Nanako? I'm Namatame. Find them. Please. Oh, I will. But how? Oh, yeah. Maybe there's clues in the truck. Where's... Oh, never mind. I was about to ask where Teddy is. Wait, you can't. We need to preserve the scene. Then allow me. If it rains again while we wait, the information we need will be lost regardless. She is a detective. She has gloves in her pocket. That makes like can you do it when the TV's off? Yes, large enough for persons of any size to fit through. Oh, that's debatable. I also recovered a diary from the driver's seat, most likely kept by Namatame himself. I learned the existence of a new world, thus I must save people. Save? The hell's he mean by that? <gasps> this it's a list of the victim's home addresses. Mayumi Yamano, Saki Kanishi, Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. Even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I note that Mr. Moraoka's address is absent from the list. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that settles it. The last date is today's. I can't believe such a small child appeared on it. I must save this child no matter what. Is that about Nanako-chan? Wait. I managed to take her to safety. The police have been active lately. This will probably be the last time I write in this diary. I've done everything I can. It's clear now. 
He used the same trick on all the victims. No, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Or maybe it does. So he was surprised that Nanako appeared on the TV. Was this not the same person sending me the don't rescue the next person letters? And if you do, someone close to you will get hurt? Or be thrown in there too, I guess? He just ring the bell like he was making a normal delivery and throw the victim into the TV in his truck. Namatame is the killer. We need to go save Nanako-chan. Here, let's use this TV and... Wait a sec. We don't know where we'll enter through this one. What if we end up somewhere dangerous? I mean, I'm prepared. It doesn't seem like it's going to be foggy tomorrow, so we should go in tomorrow. The same way... Yeah, but like, uh, she's she's a child, and she's like family. But... If we fail, who's going to save Nanako-chan? Stop being the reason, like, the logical reason here. Saving her will be our top priority from tomorrow forward. We'll leave Namatame's whereabouts to the police. Dojima-san. How'd you get out of your car? Later, in a room at the hospital. Dojima opened his eyes. It looks like he's regaining consciousness. You guys. Are you alright? look like hell right now I mean trust me I've seen worse <laughs> Nanako she's my reason for living if I lose her I might as well be dead oh. <sighs> she must be so scared right now waiting for someone to save oh her. I'm coming and here I am Helpless. I mean, to be fair, you did this... Well, you didn't do this to yourself. Like, this happened because you were trying to save her. What kind of a father am I? I can't even protect my own daughter. Hmm. Does this place have, like, a psych ward? Dochi, my son. It's starting to sound like you might need some help. If anything happens... But trust me, I get it. That's awful. I'll make Namatami Oh, yeah. Pay. No, uh, totally. You can save Nanako, right? I trust you. Please, save her for me. You're the only ones I can turn to right now. Please. Uh, we'll do everything. Trust us and get some rest. We will rescue Nanako-chan at any cost. We do have to go through some of the old dungeons before that, but she is top priority after. It may take some time, but you must put your faith in us and wait for us to return with her. We have to fight the... Yeah, because we haven't gone to the end of the, the lab, right? Juna's Fort Food Court. You can, strength, you can sense a stronger determination than usual from everyone's expression. Nanako-chan's on the other side, right? Definitely. There's no mistake. The police should be pursuing Namatame, so let's focus on saving Nanako-chan. Oh, can I wear my bath towel through the door? I, I think I can. We're the only ones who can. We'll save her no matter what. I often thought it might be impossible, but we finally cornered the culprit. We made it this far. We won't let him take Nanako-chan's life. Yeah. This is it. Let's go all out and get it done. Yeah. I made a promise with Nanachan. chan I mean, every time you say Nanachan, I think about like my Nana. I said that we'd play again and that everything would be okay. I promised her that. Regardless, we must do whatever we can with what we have now. This is something only we can accomplish. Come on! We can do this, guys! I think we need to go through Yukiko's castle again. 
Yeah, we do this the same way as always. All we gotta do is find Nanako-chan before the next foggy day and get her out of there. Yeah. Nothing to it. Let's keep calm, be careful, and get it done. Like, we gotta find something for, like, a wedding in a castle. So that's Yukiko's place, right? Everyone's feeling on one. R1, <laughs> not on one. I was like, what does that mean? Ranked up. Uh, yeah, let's actually... Hi, Fox, how are we going? Let's go back to town... Go back... Let's go back to town real fast. We'll be going in there. Most guys they probably can't really do anything else, right? Oh, get out of there. Yeah, report the Fox... Sano. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna go back into TV land then. Um... Let's check out some of the quests. Find my pet... Oh, I didn't even. I didn't, could probably try to do that, I guess, maybe before we go in next time. That's. Pro I don't know if that's gonna happen. I think I'll go around and talk to the quest people again to see if I. Uh, that's also never gonna happen, that hard boots, to see if I can. I think it was mostly just the lab that we needed. Like, things in the lab that we needed to kill to get the items. I don't know about this one. Uh, Mika Chan's. It sounds like a dog is on the loose somewhere in in about. We can look for him before we can we go back into the TV. There might be other quests around too. I don't know. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hear my videos, second, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. If you're interested in watching me live stream, head on to twitch.tv slash Get my channel, follow me, notified when I go live. Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.